represents Mayfair. The Mayfair grid is, you know, world famous. It's a place that has always existed and represents a, an ambition, a quality, a craftsmanship, and still finds itself with a very clear identity as the representative of the most sophisticated urban living. Over the course of more than three centuries of professional devotion, Grosvenor has established itself as one of Britain's most respected private property companies. Grosvenor has been active in shaping sought-after neighbourhoods that have retained a timeless allure and prestige. These include London's Mayfair and Belgravia districts, regarded today as some of the world's most coveted addresses. With a sustainable perspective inspired by its commitment to the long-term and lasting craftsmanship, Grosvenor is able to balance tradition with contemporary luxury design, creating homes of enduring value among cities which continue to evolve. Grosvenor's latest representation of this is the Westminster Nanpedai, a residence located in the esteemed Shibuya district of Tokyo. At the Westminster Nanpedai, a carefully curated international team comprising world-renowned architects, designers and artists alongside Japanese master craftsmen have created a home that perfectly caters to modern lifestyles, a fitting sanctuary for sophisticated city dwellers in pursuit of genuine and enduring quality. I think in the best feature of the building is out of uh, to have transformed a space that hadn't really found a, a heart with the uh, where really the car ruled it was very cold and to create with a you know a glass sheet this sort of sense of layering back to the interiors even though you're outside you get a sense of anticipation running inside and that's building on the framework of the existing building and how it was given. I think that sequence is, is particularly beautiful. All our residential projects, we're looking for a timeless sort of quality to our designs. Comfort is important and how the end user interacts with our buildings. So they have to be very functional, durable. We look for a timeless beauty in our buildings and our interiors, the materials we select, the furniture we select. The floor is an oak herringbone floor. And I think um, if you look at the walls, the walls are just white. And it's about maximizing height. It's about adding light with a very, very beautiful floor. And it's a bit like a herringbone tweed. It's durable and it's timeless. And I think it's very, very British in a way. この それからレセプションのカウンターとかそれぞれの要所要所に光を少しこう抑揚つける。工業的な材料っていうのはね、なんかどっか冷たく見えるような感じがして。で、いつでもどこでもね、どこ見ても同じように見えるような気してたんで、素材と自分の手でちゃんと作るってところで、その場一回ってことをやりたかったんですよね。
何かいい空気が生まれてるっていうのは壁の力ですよねこう利休の茶室だってそうでしょ素朴なのになぜか新鮮な静かな気持ちになるみたいなね四国の瀬戸内海の味石って言ってあの今世界でもかなり有名な石ですけれども表面は茶色っぽい色をしてるんですけれども割ると中が白い色になってくるんです。やっていう道具で割った石がもう重ね肌っていう層があってその層がうつぶしくこうパッと開いたりなんかしますのでまあ造形的にも面白い石かなと思います。建築そのものが静かでね上品な建築ですから荒々しい石を持ってきてどうなるんだろうと思って重たい石を置くと建築とのバランスが壊れるので石を軽く見せたいなと思ったんですね。不動の石だっていうんじゃなくてこれもう石も人間と同じように楽しんでるように。したいなと思ってました。意志ってなんかこう。すべてを受け入れる。すごい地球の元のようなエネルギーをいっぱい持ってますからね。玄関入ったところでさっとみんなのがハッとするような。なんか力をここで持たせたかったっていう。There is, for instance, as you move into the, the,、uh, the grounds, a most beautiful tree, which is quite old. It therefore deals with time, you know, I think very beautifully, but also there's the sense in the tree of having a seasonal change, which one can just enjoy, you know, rather than something that's very hard and static, set against your own cycle of life. And the growing up of children, and, and then that set against stone and its geological time. So you have a, a very,、uh, you have a way of fitting the human experience of time into the disposition of this trajectory between a leaf and a grain that's been formed, you know, 150 million years ago.